Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. Happy New Year. Hope Absolutely. you had a great New Year. This is 2018. And if you're still writing checks, how many times did you write 2017 since today? I I thought about that. If it's so funny check, yeah. to train yourself for a whole year to do one thing and then have to fix it over again. That's right. That's why my wife gave me that little card and she said just use it. So. Did you write down any resolutions? Yeah. Okay. We'll see what happens, right? I, I, yeah. I'll tell you about them. <laughs> we'll talk about those later. Yeah, I have a feeling. We do have a great show lined up and we'll be right back. Let's check out our weather. First warning weather with meteorologist Kevin Jacobs. Well, we'll move into our Wednesday with a winter storm watch for much of our area. It does include the potential for some snow as well as some freezing rain, and that's going to accompany the already bitterly cold temperatures that we are enduring across the entire area. We're certainly locked in with the cold. So let's look ahead at our chances for snow potential. Notice as we look at future cast through tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours, we'll have the chances for snow. The best chance for this type of precipitation will be east of I-95. It doesn't rule out other locations west of I-95, but the best chances and the best potential for that snow accumulation, like I said, is on the east side of I-95. And there's still that chance that it could be more of a freezing rain event than an actual snow event. So we're watching this system as it develops very closely. But what does develop will move out by Thursday night into by Wednesday night into our Thursday morning. So the bottom line of snow potential one to three inches possible, a trace to one inch in gray here that shaded there. And that would include, say, parts of Marlboro, Darlington County, as well as parts of Dillon and Florence County into the border belt as well. But the closest and the highest snow potential will be close to the coast. Meanwhile, we're certainly locked into the very cold air throughout this entire week. We will keep our temperatures below 40, so expect 30s through Friday as well as into our Saturday. By Sunday, however, relief is headed our way. We'll have a little bit of pushback with some warmer air by Monday into the low 50s. Record-breaking temperatures, of course, this morning into the teens, mid-teens in some locations. Well, we're headed up by Sunday, Monday, but for right now, we still have to endure these bitterly cold temperatures. We want everyone to take the cold very seriously, and we'll continue to update you on Wednesday what to expect, how much, when, where, and we have some additional information on our website. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, let's talk about today. Oh, first, yes. the first supermoon right. of January, or excuse me, of 2018. Yes. Price, one of our viewers, he's a very dedicated viewer of ours with his new camera he got. He took a picture of that, so we wanted to show that. Supermoon. Um, that is the first supermoon um, of yes. 2018. And if there's more than two supermoons not, in not a month. Just full moons. What do you call Full them? moons, right, or supermoons? If you have just two supermoons in a month, you call them what? Blue, blue moon, moon, right, right? in. Yeah. That's right. Ed says moon. yes. That means it's That's correct. Right. So, Price, thank you for that picture Appreciate there. It. it is. Pretty good camera there, I that will was a say. Nice camera. Absolutely. All right, today's Tuesday, January 2nd, and this is Bad Hangover Day. Still? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, right. you know, the funny thing is, as you get older, yeah. your tolerance really does go down. That's why I quit. That's you don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> You'd be out for a couple That's months right. now at this point, yeah, huh? Yeah, and it's also the day after New Year's Day. It, it yeah. absolutely is. So, get those <laughs> resolutions going. Make sure, you know, you had one day under your belt already. Keep on going for the year. All right, birthdays, go for it. Robert Duvall, 1931, 87 years old, movie The Godfather, The Apostles, Secondhand Lions, great show. If you've never seen that, you need to see it. 1990, Days of Thunder, 
filmed uh, partly in Darlington. That's when I got a chance to interview Tom Cruise. All right, 1975, Bradley Cooper is 43 years old movie, Silver Lining Playbook, American Sniper, which is a fantastic movie, American Hustle, The Hangover Trilogy, and made a debut in the 1999 Sex in the City. 1978, January Jones. Wonder why they named her January. All right, she's 40 years <laughs> old, and she's on the TV's <laughs> Mad Men. And the movies, X-Men, First Class, The Last Man on Earth, and Before Fame, she worked at the Dairy Queen. All right. Today in history, let's go. 1941, Andrew, the Andrew sisters recorded Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. You remember that? Yep. No, you don't. I don't. Okay. 1983, the musical Annie closed on Broadway now. Listen to this. Pretty successful. 2,377 performances. Awesome. One of my favorites. All right, that's By very far, good. absolutely. All right, from the Know-It-All Department, this is where you learn something every day, and I'll tell you, you, you've got to believe all this because it comes off the Internet. Oh, all right, here yeah. it is. All right, and uh, if I ever win an Academy Award, I will be there to get it. I just want you to know that, okay? Oh, all for right. sure. But listen to this. When Eminem won his uh, <clears throat> for Best Original Song, okay. he didn't attend. You know why? No. He was taking a nap after watching cartoons with his daughter. It's kind of sweet. Yeah, but he apologized. I mean, you can't. What do you? Some people just don't go, you know, to protest. But he was taking a nap. I can relate to that. I can too. Abs <laughs> absolutely. I like naps. I'm not going to lie too. to you. Do you take? Wait. Do you take long naps? No, no, about an hour. Like 15, That's 20 minutes, good. and I am good. That's it's it. like a little recharge. That's what I know at all department today. A great show lined up. Some fun stuff. All you got to do is sit back and relax. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, the Grand Strand Humane Society. <laughs> Every Tuesday, they bring a pet of the day. And we've got a special pet today that came a long ways to get adopted. He sure did. From the hurricane relief, he came all the way from St. Croix. Yep. Is that correct? All right. And, I mean, he looks absolutely sweet. He, just, he looks like a purebred lab is, he... is what he looks like. And he looks kind of like maybe a few years old. Yeah, we um, estimated with dental probably around three, but he might be a little bit older. Like, he's got a little gray in his face. That's what I was going to say. This is kind of just what he does. He lays around and hangs out and Look at him. sleeps a lot. <laughs> he's really sweet. What's his name? Thor. Yeah. Thor. Thor. And he's a big boy for sure, but he does look very sweet. How does he with, you know, other pets, kids? He, um, Any experience with him yet? He hasn't been cat tested yet, so we're not sure how he is with cats. Um, he doesn't really seem to mind dogs too much, but really it just, you know, depends who it is kind of thing. The environment he's going to yeah. go to. And then he's from St. Croix, so we don't know much about, like, his kid friendliness and everything like that, but we'd be more than happy just bring the whole family in. We'll introduce him, and if he likes them all, go oh, for it. Oh, he looks like he wants to come we, sit with us. Y'all had, had a few pets come in, right? We did, Yeah. Player. We had, um, I believe, 11 or 12 from St. Croix. Right. Okay. Um, and we only really have about two left. Yeah, they went pretty fast. Really? Everybody was really excited. We couldn't thank the community enough. They just came in, wow. got them all out into good homes. Hopefully, they're not freezing their butts off. You know what Thor is yeah. thinking about right now? Why am I here mm -hmm. and it's cold and it was warm where I was? That's yeah. <laughs> He's <laughs> thinking that right and now. And you know what that means? He needs a warm home to go home <laughs> That's to. right. He wants exactly. a warm home All to right, go All right, New to. Year. I mean, you guys, you know, you thrive off of donations, volunteers, that kind of stuff. What are you guys looking at for the New Year? Really, we're just kind of hoping to get our volunteer numbers up and get everybody, all of our animals loved and cared for. Plus, we can always use donations. Um, they really help us out a bunch. They keep our budget more in, like, saving lives as opposed to buying treats and food and things along those lines. Yeah, absolutely. So. And, and and also medical issues they might have, you know, that comes mm -hmm. out of pocket for you guys. You know, I know yeah. a lot of the vets really support you guys, but 
It also comes out of pocket. So. Yeah, he's actually um, he's heartworm positive, so his, he? it does come with his adoption fee. Um, but he is that is like some of the things that we need to treat along mm -hmm. those lines medically. So well, maybe that's a good. Ready? Is he ready for adoption right now? He is. He can go home. Um, he'd be ready to go hang Look out. Look at him. He just said, you know what? said yes. And I'm it's ready. probably a good thing that he's pretty quiet and calm because yeah. heartworm positive. They need to kind of stay. Yeah, they need in to keep their heart rate as low as possible. Um, and he is pretty chill and laid back. When he gets outside, he gets a little. He needs to go explore. But this is a whole country he hasn't been to. So. That's exactly. Oh, he's so oh, sweet. He's pepping up a little. Well, I tell you, we appreciate the Humane Society, and the Grand Friend Humane you guys Society, for us. what they do. They do so much. But I mean, it, how about if somebody's out there just sitting around and says, you know what, I'd like to do something for y'all. Instead of just giving money, what else can they give? Donate to you. They can give food, treats. Um, we have like a whole wish list item on our website that we'd be um, happy to show with everybody. But really, what we need most: food, treats. Blankets to keep them warm, definitely. Yeah. It's freezing lately, and they go through blankets like it's nothing. Um, we don't really use pillows too much just because they shred them, but like warm, thick blankets, things along right, those lines. Right, to be able to put, put in their yeah. kennels with them, yeah, and they can snuggle them, like, up too. Giant padded well, that's it. There's fantastic. a grand strand. You saw it right there. Check it out and see what they need. Thank that's you, right. Amy, for being Thanks with us. Thanks for being with you. us. All right, we got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, the mission of the Waccamaw River Keepers is to protect and clean the water throughout the Winyaw Bay. And it's super important. We live in a coastal area, and I feel like this is such an important thing to be able to do. Litter, all that kind of stuff, it affects everything that we do here. That's right, and they have all kind of, uh, you know, programs during the year in the schools right. to help teach kids about it. And one thing I hate. Yes. I hate to see somebody throw something out of a boat. I completely Boy, agree I with you. I know. Oh, we yeah. actually, you know, uh -huh. funny story. We actually the other day went on the boat. Water bottle flew out by accident, and I made we searched for 15 minutes. I couldn't <laughs> find it, and I felt terrible. But it's stuff like that that you guys clean up. Yes. Yes. Exactly. We do two big cleanups a year. 
Um, and we just wrapped up our uh, fall cleanup um, back in September. And over the past year, we've pulled over 35 tons Ton. of trash <laughs> out of our waterways <laughs> that filter into Winya Bay. That's yep, 35 what, tons. What kind of stuff are we talking? All kinds of stuff. At our fall cleanup, we pulled out, um, that on top is a pool, like a above ground pool. Yeah. That was pulled out. That's from the flood the other year. And okay. these are some of um, students from a high school that came and helped us do wow. that cleanup back in the and fall. I, and I'm sure with floods, hurricanes, all that, I mean, it's it's increased. And so that's part exactly. of the issue. Exactly. We've seen more trash this year than any years before. And it's because of those floods. Um, you know, everything that's on land ends up in the water. And then once that water goes down, it's on our banks and on in our rivers. Absolutely. So. Well, y'all got something coming up in a couple of weeks. What's the date on that now? It is January 14th. Right. It's going to be from 4 to 8. That is our river celebration. It's our um, one of our big annual fundraising events. It's basically a big party, and it's going to be at the warehouse in Conway. Fantastic. Um, we're going to have live music by the Steady Hand String Band. We're going to have the Pine Sap Swamp Potato Man there. <laughs> um, he makes amazing potatoes. They're delicious. Really? Uh, we're going to have a live auction, a basket auction, all kinds of great stuff. Food and drink, it's, it's going to be a now blast. who can come? Anybody can come. All right, what, um, what time does it start? It starts at 4. Okay. Um, it goes from 4 to 8 on <coughs> Sunday afternoon. It's uh, the 14th. And uh, tickets are $40 for non-members, $35 for members of the Winya Rivers Foundation. Did you all have this last year? We did not. You did not. Because we were going to okay. have it by the river, and, and it got flooded. flooded. So... <laughs> That's, That's why right. we pushed it back to so January. So this is one of your biggest fundraisers. Yes. So we do need people to get in touch with. they yep. got a website they can go to right yep. there yep. and find out more sure about can. it, right? They, they sure, sure can. can. Uh -huh. They can give you guys a call. Also, riverkeeper at winyawrivers.org. You guys can email that or just call yep. us here and we'll yep. put you in touch with it. Awesome. Yep. Fun time, great fundraiser, and definitely something really important. We live on the coast and we really need to take care of it. So Thank you. Thanks we'll for being with us. Thank you. Okay. All right. We've got more coming up. We'll be right back. And welcome back. Let me tell you, the American Cancer Society, they do so much for, you know, research and donation. Let me, I got to show you this. I'm going to show you before they even show you. Look I know. It's at, pretty look incredible. At look at that. I'm talking about over $10,000 from who? The man in the hat, I call him. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he all does. The world. We pass him all the time. That's I exactly what Cecil does. And, you know, Horry County, um, the American Cancer Society, you guys raise money. You do so much in this area for, you know, the Cancer Society. Troy, tell us a little bit about that. And, also, we want to talk to Mr. Yeah. Auto World over there. Yes. Well, yes, right here at home in the Myrtle Beach area, our office, women that are going through cancer and chemo lose their hair. They can come to our office and get a free wig. Right. They get a couple turbans. That is, that's amazing. Uh, yeah. We have a program called Road to Recovery where we take patients to and from their treatments because there are people that they're by don't themselves. They don't yeah. have a way to get there. Right. Uh, we have the Hope Lodge in Charleston. It might not be right here, but people do go to MUSC, to Hollings Cancer Center. They can stay in the Hope Lodge while they're going through the treatment. So those are just some basic things. Well, I'm going to tell you, before we talk to Ron, you were surprised by this. Uh, yes, tell I was. Us. 
I, I, I was actually on vacation, and I had to go by the office to do something, and phone rang, and Tracy Holler said, there's somebody from a dealership that wants to give us a donation. Could you go by and pick it up? And I get on the phone, and I'm like, how much? <laughs> <laughs> and had no idea what they did, and we're going to just let him tell about yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, you're thinking maybe, you know, Two hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, something, yeah, something anything like anything you're grateful for, yeah. but ten thousand dollars. Right, thousand three hundred. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, wow. why did you do this? What was the deal behind this? Well, it, you know, we've been so blessed with our business, and at one of our managers' meetings, we were all discussing, you know, the successes that we've had throughout the first three quarters of this year. Then we were looking forward to see, well, what can we do, and what are some of the challenges that lie ahead for us, also. Yeah. And as we were listening to our employees speak, I didn't realize it just dawned on me that over 90% of our employees are affected in one way or another by cancer, whether it be yeah. breast cancer. Uh, we had one of our employees just lost one of their, um, lost their father. And so we're looking, man, th there's got to be a way that we can give back. And so they challenged us or we challenged each other as a group to say, well, okay, how can we do that? And said, you know what? God put it on my heart and said, well, what if we did $100 per car? And so then we all worked together in that month, in the month of October, we sold 103 units um, out of both locations, and just such a blessing that we're able to be able to give back. Ron, that's amazing. Wow. Auto <laughs> World, tell them where you got two locations now. Tell them. We have one on Highway 90, uh, 5333 Highway 90, or on Highway 501 on the bypass uh, between Coastal and downtown Conway. But see me at autoworldofconway.com. And also, you just told me you got a 68 Camaro in? Oh, a 68 Camaro convertible, also a 69 Camaro, and we've got maybe five or six classics. So I know you're into the hey, classics. Hey, the classic car guys, <laughs> you, they're listening to you right now. That's right. Well, come by and see me. All right. And your, his great. eyes, your eyes lit up yeah. when he your talks wife about says that. No. My wife says no. <laughs> Believe me, she does, Troy. But this, is, this is so amazing that you've done this. And, yes. and you know, and, and when. When I saw Troy on Facebook, I had to call him and say, man, we need to line you up for this. Absolutely. And he said, Cecil, I didn't even know about it. <laughs> I didn't even know what was, was going on. He was so excited. He was so excited. Well, it's something that we don't plan on just yeah. making a one-time occurrence. We right. hope that we can do this, and again, this year, maybe sponsor other events that the Cancer Society uh, does for the public. We'd like to actually challenge all the dealerships. We want to, to do, do maybe, something like that. Well, they to pick a month. Let's get 12 dealerships to do one wow. month for the whole year, and we'll do a calendar with the dealership's picture and their staff that's on a, the calendar that's that a month. great idea. Great that's idea. Even, even if it's only it, hundred, even if it's fifty dollars a car, yeah. whatever they choose to do, but he set the bar. Yeah, I want to tell you, Ron. Ron is a super nice guy, and uh, he'd do anything in the world to help you. And I, we do appreciate it in the cancer Definitely. side. Everybody that's dealt with somebody that has cancer, I have my yep. grandparents, and you know, and, and you know what it is, what it's all about. And we thank you for that. Definitely, yeah. we really Thanks, do. Ron. Thank you for doing thank that. You, very, very yeah. cool. Very. Go see I the love man. seeing that in the local community. That's right. really, really neat. I the love man it. in the hat. Auto world. <laughs> Go see Ron. All right, we got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
show called Caroline and Company Live. You know, Cecil's cool and Amanda's slick. You know, she's the cutest chick for the show called Caroline and Company Live. They are in the know. That's why we watch the show. News, weather, and what's going on around town. WPDE Channel 15, five days a week. 12 noon, tune in to a real good time. Informative guests and talent galore. From up and down the Myrtle Beach shore. Tune in to Carolina Company Live. They are in the know. That's why we watch the show. News, weather, and what's going on around town. They are in the know. That's why we watch the show. News, weather, and what's going on around town. <laughs> Company Live. Turn on, turn on your TV, turn on, turn on your TV, turn on, Carolina Company Live. Turn on, turn on your TV, turn on, turn on your TV, turn on, Carolina Company Live. Turn on, turn on your TV. Turn on, turn on your TV, turn on, turn on your TV, turn on, Carolina Company Live. Tune in to Carolina and Company Live. Forever do wop. We appreciate those guys putting that for us uh, together. And once in a while, we'll get a chance and we'll play it when we have time. That's right. And, and then Cecil for the rest of the day and the next day, he I'll plays the song. And he, <laughs> I know it. Wait, try again? I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed today's show. I, you know, Actually, I really enjoyed it. I love seeing the community come together. And that was awesome with I American think it was Cancer great Society. About Ron. That was unbelievable. Really great, great story. Great All right. You guys have a good afternoon. Stay warm. It's cold out there. We will see you back here tomorrow <laughs> at tomorrow. noon. Have a good snow? one. Snow? Maybe snow. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE, ABC 15, WWMB, CW 21, or its employees.